Hi everyone, uh, this video is on equivalence relations and the conditions. Our three conditions are um, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. And I have three examples to go over. These are three examples here. One, two, three. So this is the set and this is the relations. All right, so let's start with the first one. And it has to meet all three of these conditions. So is R related to itself? So um, for number one, that would be yes, because a person born in the same year is himself, right? So um, if you're alive in Texas, then you're definitely born in the same year. So I don't think I need to as yourself. And two, we have A, um, if A relates to B, then B relates to A. So A relating to B, if A relates to B, then B relates to A. So basically, it's like saying if, um, if Molly... is born the same year as as Leanna then Leanna is born same year as Molly so that's how you would write that and then transitive, um, you do the same thing. So basically, it's saying um, if um, A relates to B and B relates to C, then A relates to C. So I can kind of add to this. Um, if Molly is born the same year as Leanna and Leanna is born same year as um, uh, let's see Emily then Molly was born the same year as Emily so Molly born same year as Emily All right, so um, so if A relates to B and B relates to C, then A relates to C. All right, next example, straight lines. So we want to determine if it's an equivalent relation. And uh, instead of writing everything out, we're uh, determining does R form a, a, an equivalence relation on the set L? Does R form an equivalence relation on the set L? So this is number two. And for number one, you would say yes, a line is parallel to itself. So A is related to A. A line is parallel to itself. Two. Um, if a line A is parallel to B, then B has to be parallel to A. So if A is uh, parallel to B, then B has to be parallel, and that's the relationship, parallel to, that's your R, to A. And finally, for 3, if A is parallel to B and B is parallel to A, then A, whoops, this should be C, to C, then A is parallel to C. And the last one, straight lines. Okay, so um, is a, a line perpendicular to itself? So is A... Um, 
perpendicular to itself and this is no so we're going to say does r form a, a relation the relation r um form a re equivalence on set l the straight lines and that's no so it's also not um uh, transitive if a is perpendicular to b and b is perpendicular to c then a um is not perp perpendicular to um c all right you could draw a picture of that however three um it is symmetric the relation is symmetric because if a is perpendicular to b and b is perpendicular to a so that that is this is a yes these other two are no so that means um R does not form an equivalence relation on the set L. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.